Good morning. We have an audience of one here so far, so thank you for being here. I think as soon as our entertainment in the Potomac Atrium ends, we will have more folks come and join you. So please know that, fellas. There will be more people here as soon as the Potomac's done. But we want to say hello to any of our folks watching on webcast as well. Uh, welcome to our Out of Many Festival. This is a festival where we celebrate the presidential inauguration. Of course, this week it's for President Obama's second term. And then we also celebrate on Monday the legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King. So in honor of that, we invite one out of many cultures, representative from around the world, to celebrate their cultures, their music, their dance, their stories with us. And we're starting today here in the Rasmussen Theater with the Smithsonian Masterworks Jazz Trio. They are part of the larger jazz orchestra, which was founded <clears throat> in 1990 to kind of celebrate jazz as a national treasure here in the United States of America. These fellows have been playing together for a long time, and they are top-class musicians, and I can assure you, you will enjoy their music. So please join me in welcoming the Smithsonian Masterworks Jazz Trio.
much for coming and joining us this morning. This is uh, quite a treat for us to be here. Um, such a wonderful theater, and hopefully uh, you're having as much fun out here as we are on stage. Um, what, first, before we get started in what the premise of this performance is this afternoon, I want you to meet the two musicians up here that I have the pleasure, distinct pleasure of playing with. On piano is Tony Knocker. And on bass, James King. Now, what I'm going to do, or what we're here to do, is transport you back to a time, um, exact time, actually, April 29th, 1969, during the Nixon uh, presidency. And this particular moment was a celebratory moment that happened at the White House, first of its kind. And the gentleman that was being celebrated which I, I assume you probably can tell if you know that selection that we played there, was Duke Ellington. It was Duke Ellington's 70th birthday, and uh, Nixon wanted to make sure that that wasn't lost on the nation of this our important uh, jazz composer, uh, band leader, that uh, was actually, is actually a native Washingtonian. So what he then had um, envisioned was to pull together stellar musicians that represented the jazz world through their various artistic output to celebrate Ellington's 70th birthday. And employing this gentleman to help make this happen was a gentleman by the name of Willis Conover, who worked over at Voice of America, and he had a, uh, um, a radio program that was broadcasted worldwide except for this country. So Willis went to work and put together just a stellar cast of musicians to be able to celebrate this incredible moment and celebratory moment of, of Duke Ellington's 70th birthday. I'm going to just give you an example of some of these musicians that were there in performance and also there to be part of the celebration. We had, of course, Duke was there, um, Clark Terry trumpeter, Bill Berry also trumpeter, Irby Green, a wonderful trombonist, J.J. Johnson, uh, Paul Desmond, if you know Paul Desmond from the Dave Rubeck court, uh, Quintet, were um, day, uh, known for, of course, Take Five and Blue Ron Ella Turk and various other compositions. Uh, that was the timeout recording. You also had Jerry Mulligan, Hank Jones, Jim Hall, guitarist, and uh, Louis Belson. In addition to those who were musicians who were performing, they were actually in the audience, and this is quite impressive to see the list here. Um, composers, uh, Richard Rogers, who composed My Favorite Things, My Funny Valentine, Sound of Music, and uh, Harold Arlen, which uh, those young kids probably know him from The uh, Wizard of Oz, which had Ding Dong, Which is Dead, and Over the Rainbow. So it's just, you can get a sense of who was there really celebrating this moment. So what we're going to do is actually take some of the sampling of those selections that were played there in 1969 and plan for you to give you a sense of the songbook that was represented during that period of time. So the next selection is I Let a Song Go Out of My Heart. Thank you. 
me with putting the glasses on. It's something new for me. Um, once again, these wonderful musicians there, please do, do give them a round of applause there. This is such great players. So, prior to Ellington's celebration at the White House, there were two other moments there. So it wasn't that the White House hadn't actually recognized jazz, and through other avenues also recognized jazz. And one of the prior moments that uh, jazz was actually presented there to a, a youth audience was actually during the Kennedy administration where the Paul Winter Jazz Sextet uh, performed for a student audience or a youth audience, and they were, uh, they had actually come back from a 1961 State Department tour to South America, to Brazil. And so they're bringing back their interpretation and experience of that. And of course, the bossa nova was part of that experience. Now, there were other jazz musicians that were in, in Brazil that also um, had the opportunity to learn, explore, and incorporate bossa nova. But Paul Winter was the one who, at least in the White House, presented bossa nova. And following that, of course, during the Johnson uh, administration, you had then uh, Pearl Bailey. But uh, they're all very minor. They weren't necessarily to this degree. And so uh, with Richard Nixon in 69, he really he set the, the tone from that point on, which you'll find that uh, Jimmy Carter also brought in George Ween to have a big festival on the South Lawn. But um, we don't have time for that because we'd be here until, next, until tomorrow or the next day talking about that. But <clears throat> it was recognized, of course, that Duke Ellington uh, being one of our greatest composers, really needed to be recognized in, in a way that he hadn't been. And in doing that, um, Nixon not only celebrated his birthday there, but he also played happy birthday for him on the piano. So there's a wonderful YouTube of that. We didn't think that Nixon had musical talent, but he actually does. He sat down and played the piano, and uh, the audience are saying happy birthday for, for uh, Duke Ellington. It's quite a, quite a wonderful and, and humorous moment there to, to witness, so I recommend that you do that. So what we're going to do to continue on is um, we are going to play a wonderful ballad for you in a sentimental journey. Oh, I'm sorry, in a sentimental mood. Thank you.
sentimental mood. It was that beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Um, we have five more minutes here before we have to then change over. So we're going to close out with a composition that everybody, if you don't know the name, you've heard it before or you do know, but it's a, it's a composition by Billy Strayhorn. And Billy Strayhorn was Duke Ellington's, uh, I'd say partner in crime, but co-creator of many, many wonderful compositions in the Ellington Songbook and, of course, wrote many on his own, too. Um, this particular piece, interestingly enough, um, came early on in his, his writing relationship uh, with Ellington, and actually it's a sole piece of credit to him called Take the A-Train. Uh, it came under a time when Duke was actually not able to record any of his own material because there was a strike with ASCAP. So he needed some, some uh, writers who were not ASCAP members to write music to continue to perform and record, and then we'll talk about the recording band that came later, but so he employed Billy Strayhorn and also his son Mercer Ellington, and they wrote really just a robust amount of music there for this Ellington songbook. And this particular piece, which was adapted uh, right after he wrote it in the arrangement for the band, is called Take the A-Train.
Melodian Opera on Piano. James King on bass. I'm Ken Kimberly. I want to thank also the National Museum of the American Indian for having us here. This is such a wonderful program, and I hope you do take part of the festivities as the day progresses. Thank you very much. One more hand for our Jazz Masterworks Trio, please. Thank you very much, gentlemen. I know both yesterday and today, they're all running off to other gigs. There's a lot of music happening this weekend, so I hope everything goes well for you guys. And just so you know, we're going to continue programming here in a few minutes with Vicky Lega, and we are going to do the setup for her right now, and all day there will be performances in here, as well as the Potomac space. So hang loose, and we'll be back in about 10 to 15 minutes. Thank you.